we're going to learn a tune uh, called Gypsy Waltz. It also has a, a Swedish title, Tater Waltz. This is a tune that comes from um, originally from Selma Ramsey, who learned it from his grandfather, apparently. I picked it up off a um, Leroy Larson record from the 70s, and um, Leroy Larson's fiddle player at the time, Craig Rubel, uh, learned it from Selma Ramsey. And apparently it comes from Goodridge, Minnesota, or thereabouts. So uh, let's give this tune a look. We've got some key changes going on here, but the fingerings don't change too much. So let's, um, let's get into it in the A part. So we're gonna start off um, in a minor key. We're gonna start off in D minor, D harmonic minor. So we have a low one and then a low two in our first uh, phrase. This is our pickup, uh, this is like a little triplet phrase that's gonna serve as a pickup phrase into the, into the main melody. So we have a low one, a low two, back to low one, slurring into open A. Now when you hit that uh, A at the beginning of the first measure, I would recommend just giving it a little bit of an emphasis as we play into the first measure. So there we are. We have our triplet phrase, pickup notes, leading us into an open A. Now we're going to go on over to high three on the D, back to open A, and a low two on the D. So let's practice just that intro together. Um, into the second measure now, we have a low two, a one, and then back to low two and an open D. So let's play just that together. We have two, one, two, oh. Let's move along and then we'll recap it um, in a few bars. So we have a regular one on the uh, G string, a high three on the G, and then we're gonna go all the way over to the E string. So we're going to teeter-totter across the, um, the D and the A strings. Try not to, you know, bow as you go across those two um, D and A strings. So, so we have in this measure, let's review this, we have one, high three, over to the E. Let's play it together. Let's continue on and then we'll recap. One more measure. So we have a low one on the E. Open E, to low one again, over to A3. That's... So let's play everything that we've learned up to this point. Moving on, so we have next uh, e3, low 2 on the E, then a low 4 on the E, back to a regular 3. So that whole phrase in this measure is 3, 2, 4, 3. And keep in mind that we have a low 2 and a low 4 in this phrase. So together, again. Next measure, we have sort of a similar phrase, but a step down. Then we're going to do a low two, open A, sorry, open E, back to low two, low one. Let's play that together. Two, oh, two, one. Now we're moving on, moving on now to the second to last measure. We have an open E over to the high two on the A, and let's just step up, two, three, oh, one. Kind of climbing up the scale a bit. So we're gonna go open E, down to high two, and walk up to low one. Together. And that brings us to the last measure. We have just how we end on a D, an A3. So let's pick it up from, let's see, one, two, three, four, the fourth measure in, the fourth full measure, I should say. Let's play that together. So starting on the low one.
So let's take a look. Let's just review those last four measures. So we start with our third finger on the E string. Two, four, three, two, oh, two, one, oh, high two, and walk up. And on a D, A3. So let's play those uh, last four measures together. And now let's review the whole tune up to this point. That brings us to the B section. Now we're gonna we're gonna move up from D minor to its relative major to up to um, F. Now your fingerings won't change. Um, still a lot of low uh, twos and low ones in this scale. So we're gonna start with a low two on the A string, a low one on the E, and an E three. So we're gonna be kind of repeating that three note phrase. This is almost like ragtime in a way, where we repeat these three note phrases. So we're going to do that, that, that cycle four times. One, two, three, four. And what I recommend doing is keeping both your second finger and your first finger down through this whole phrase. You can see my, the fingers of my left hand. I'm just, I'm just adding my, that, that uh, third finger note, to that A, um, to, to, the, to the phrase, but keeping the rest of the notes already fingered, already down. As I always say to my students, never miss an opportunity to be lazy. So that's the first two measures of the B section. Let's practice that together. Moving on, now we're at measure 12, second measure in for on the uh, second line. We're going to start with a low four, and we're going to kind of walk again, sort of step down the scale. We've got a low four, three, two, one, open. And then we're going to end that measure on a low two. So the whole phrase is four, three, two, one, oh, two. Let's play that together. And into the next measure, we have more of this walking down the scale. We're going to start with the low one on the E string. Open E, A3, <clears throat> A2, a low two, a low one. Straight walking down the scale here. Let's start again on E1, a low one. Pretty easy, right? Then we're going to start that repetitive three note pattern again. We're going to do it four times, just like we did above, and then we're going to walk down from our low four on the E string. Four, three, two, one, oh, two, and then we're going to play an F natural, low one, against an open A. So here we are in the C section. We've got a key change happening here. We're going to be in B flat now. We're just going to be adding one flat, though, so your fingerings won't be changing too much. So we have uh, a low one on the A string. Then we're going to go down to the D string, a low two. And then we're going to we're going to go from low two on the D to a low one on the A, A three, up to an E one. Now, if you look at the fingers of my left hand, you're going to notice that my first finger is going to be um, going to be planted here, it's going to be barred on the low first finger position through this whole phrase. I call this finger capoing. This is like, a, like the capos that guitar players use so they can transpose from one key to the next without changing their fingers. Fingerings. Uh, this is a sort of a similar idea and it makes playing in B flat a whole lot easier. So we're just going to hold that um, low first finger position as we start the, the C section. So we have low one. Keep that finger down, low two on the D, back to low one, A3, low one on the E. Let's play that together. 
Then we have a low four, low one, A three, low one, low two, low one. And I notice that I'm keeping that first finger barred at the low first finger position on the A and the E strings. So that phrase is, So let's review those two measures, since we're going to be keeping that, that first finger uh, capoed in the low one position uh, throughout it. So we have one, together, that brings us to the third measure of the uh, C section. Now we're going to start with a low four on the uh, A string to a low two, open A, low two, low four again on the A, and then to, <clears throat> excuse me, a low two. Probably the most challenging phrase of the whole tune because it asks a lot of our fourth finger, but let's try that together. We got a low four, low two, O, two, four, two. One more time for practice. And then, next measure, we're going to go down to the low one. One, two, walk on down the scale. So again, starting with an A1, low, low one, I should say. We're going to go up to two and then descend straight down the scale to a low two. So let's, uh, let's maybe review everything we've done in the C section so far, since there's some more challenging stuff here, maybe. So... Next measure, we're going to be uh, back on the A1, low one. And again, notice I'm barring that low first finger position again. This is very similar to the line that we started the C section with. Up to a low four on the E. A3, back to a, E1, low two, one. This is pretty similar to what we saw at the beginning. In fact, it's identical. And then we have a similar or the same uh, phrase next. We have four, two, oh, two, four, two. And then we end with a B flat, it's a low one, playing uh, against an open D. So let's play the whole thing together, sorry, the whole C section together. Let's play the whole tune together at a sort of a moderate tempo. If you need to slow it down uh, further, uh, go ahead and slow it down on YouTube. Um, it can be done. If you don't know how to do that yet, I would look that up. It's, a, it's sort of a game changer. So from the top. 